Hi, it's Kyla Koo. Welcome to my studio. So today I'm bringing you another junk use it or lose it project. Now, if you haven't seen any of these projects before, I'll leave a link up above to my last series and also to the video I did around a week ago. So today, by request of a Facebook friend, I'm going to be making an envelope journal. Now, I have actually made an envelope journal before. I think it was one of the early videos that I made. And again, I'll leave a link above to that particular one. I think in that one, I mainly just opened envelopes up, made them into a signature, sewed them together and had a journal. But today I'm going to do it slightly differently. So what kind of envelopes do I collect? Well, these are ones that greetings cards have come in. Uh, a nice selection of colours there. Together I think they'll make a really nice journal. But I'm not going to use these ones today, I don't think. But I, I would always keep these. Then anything that anything else comes in, you know, bills or whatnot. Sometimes I just kind of pull it open. Other times I will... Uh, well, that one's opened fairly neatly but sometimes I just kind of slit them open along the top but I keep all of these. The other types that I keep are sometimes when catalogues come in through the door uh, you get these return envelopes you know certain junk mail comes in with these envelopes so I keep them too. These ones came with some little cards that came from a charity. I think they had the cards and the envelopes, you know, the cards I think I've used for something else. Kept the envelopes. They're quite small, so probably wouldn't send anything out in them. But nevertheless, I will always look to repurpose them. Uh, yeah, so wide selection. And I keep a lot of them just in this box, just to try and keep them tidy. So, do you always have to put cards together that are the same size? Absolutely not. It's up to yourself how you put them together, whether they're all uniform or whether they're all different sizes. All I would suggest is that you make your back, your back and your front card pretty much the same size. It just gives it a little bit of, I don't know, balance, looks better, kind of holds the things together better. So, what do we need for today? Well, we need some envelopes, and I'm going to use some that are virtually all the same size, but also a couple of these plain ones. Uh, scissors. Something like masking tape, or duct tape, or washi tape. You want something that's that's quite strong, though, that, that's going to hold, especially if you plan to use any kind of wet media in here. So, I'm going to see how tacky this is, and I might just add a little bit of this craft glue, craft glue, uh, just to make it that little bit uh, stronger, let it hold easier. Also need things for decorating, but I will do that as, as uh, you know, once I've got the basic journal together. Now obviously you could actually decorate at this stage, you could simply take these envelopes and paint them before you put them together. I've decided not to do that because I'll be putting the masking tape on top, but if you were using a nice washi tape then no reason why why you couldn't, but I'd rather try and paint on top of the, the masking tape if possible. So I'm going to clear this out the way and just to work with a few envelopes. So back in a second. Okay, so I'm just going to put down a little piece of kind of greaseproof paper to work on, just so that the envelopes don't stick when I'm uh, working on them. Now, one of the questions you might have is, can you use window envelopes? Absolutely, no reason why not. If the window bothered you, all you do is decorate over it. If you decided, I'm not using any top opening envelopes today, but if you wanted top opening and you only had envelopes like this, then all you need to do, cut across the top and seal that with either some glue, double-sided tape on the inside, or even just a piece of washi tape along the outside. So, very easy and straightforward. So I'm going to take two of these small ones, but I'm actually going to put them to the side because I'm going to add them in a different way than I do the others. And the reason I'm going to do that is I just want to show you how you can add to this type of journal after it's done. So as I said, I'm going to make sure that my back and front are the same. So these are actually all the same envelopes, all from the same company. It just so happens. So you then have to decide 
if it's opening like this, whether you want that opening to be on the front, so you know, do you want your journal to have a flap like that on the front, or whether you want it on the inside. I want it on the inside, but I also want to be able to come at it from this side, simply because if I do it that way, it's, it's not impossible, it can be done, it can be glued that way, no problem, just by sticking down there, but I just think I'd find it easier that way. So this will be my front, and this will be my back. And again, I want it opening like this. So then I look at how I want my others in between. And I'm only going to do a small journal of six, although I will add another couple. But sometimes I find that if I make a journal too big, I then, yeah, I then really just, I'm not sure what to do with it. And I think the other thing is that you know, sometimes people will say, what do you use your journals for? Well, actually, sometimes I don't use them for anything. I just enjoy making the journal one. You know, if you get enjoyment, fun from making journals, but don't go on to use them, that's okay, you know. Uh, the, the, the joy, in a sense, is in the making of them. So, yeah, I don't always use my journals, but I do enjoy making them. Some I do use, but not, not all. So, I've now got my next envelope. And all I'm going to do is work out my kind of running order at this stage. And I think, you know, this will be the next page. And I think what I'd quite like is for that to kind of face that. So I'll put that one that way. This is still my back. This one, well, I might do it that way. And then that way I would have a lot of space for art journaling, journaling, sticking things in or whatever. Again, that would turn over. I've got this. So I'm going to put this one this way. And then the final one, I will put like that. And so the back then fits in there. So basically, it will go like... Okay. And as I say, I'm going to add these two in separately. I could add them in at this stage, there'd be no problem. I just want to demonstrate how easy it is to, to add to it. Now, because I've got all my flaps at this side, it will mean that this will stick out ever so slightly more here. But, you know, unless that's something that bothers you, it's certainly not something that, that would bother me. So all I'm going to do to start is I'm going to get my masking tape out. And find the end, which is always the hardest thing. Now, this actually is, is tackier than I thought, so I think I'm going to risk this. I'm not going to add glue to it. I think I'm going to be okay. Famous last words. So I'm going to take a length roughly the size of my envelope. I'd rather a little bigger than smaller, but there we go. So I'm going to place that there, if I can get it off my finger. I think that shows it's reasonably tacky that it's now sticking to everything. Right, and I'll take my first envelope, remember this is my front, and I'm going to put it this way. So into roughly halfway over the, the tape. If it's not entirely accurate, doesn't matter. Next one. I'm going to do this way. And I want as best as possible, since they're the same size, I'm going to try as best as possible to line them up. Okay. Now, what I could do to give it added strength is to put another piece down here. Uh, I can't decide whether to do that or not. I will carry on with this first of all. But what I'm going to do is cut these little edges off. And actually, I think I will just put it down there because, again, if I'm using wet media, it could seep down and into it and just make the uh, masking tape slightly less stable. So I think it's as well to do it at this stage. Oh, 
Okay, so there we have our first two together and it's worth just giving it a fold as you go along. So we'll now attach the next one in exactly the same way. Now this will mean that we'll have a certain doubling up of the masking tape but I, I think that's quite helpful because I think what it does is to add strength to the binding. So again I'm just going to run a length, roughly the length of the envelope. This tape is stickier than I thought it was. Now remember this one is folding the other way so the flaps this way this time but you can fold them or sorry lay them in whatever way you want. I'm going to put it roughly in the middle and then I'll join this one from here. Now of course what that's done is to actually glue this first one, stick this first one to the very front of the envelope. So we will end up with quite a thick piece here. And again I'm just going to make sure that these are folding well. Then I'm going to stick another piece in here and I'll carry on with all my pages that way. basic journal and because I've because of the way that I've, I've put it together it has made it slightly bulky there but that's actually giving it quite a nice strong spine and you know 
once I do this it will then start to lie better in place. There's a couple where I've not quite put it on accurately, you know, I don't mind. That's where using different sized envelopes can be sometimes a bit better because you don't notice those things quite so much, but that's okay. But what I am going to do is I want to put another piece just down the back here, mainly onto this envelope because it's only got one piece and again that will just help strengthen it. And just want to make certain that all the little edges are, as far as possible, neat and tidy. Okay, I'm not going to spend too long trimming those up. <clears throat> so, I have the basic journal. So if you only had a few cards, a few, sorry, uh, envelopes, you can see how it's quite possible to quickly put something together. But what if you then get some more envelopes? Could you add them in? Well, yes, of course. And the way to do that, well, there's a couple of ways. One, you could, let's see where we would want this. Why not just in the front here? You could just kind of do a kind of tip in, I suppose. So we use our washi, our, in this case, masking tape. You might be using washi tape. Again, situate it around about halfway onto your envelope. Trim it. Trim it. Find the centre. And push it into place. Then on the other side just again to give it a bit of strength, do the same again. And again, you only want it to run the length of your actual envelope, otherwise it won't turn as well. And of course you could add in anything, it doesn't just have to be envelopes. Another way to add one in would be to do something like a tip in here, where all you do is you're attaching it along there and then you can turn it either way. So, uh, let's do it towards the back here. So there is actually a couple of ways. You could glue it the whole flap so that when that closes that comes like that or you could just glue it, by glue it I mean stick it along the edge so you could actually open that independently and then open that and again that's down to, to personal choice. So I think we'll do it this way. more for straightforward. So again I just want this to be the length of my actual envelope. And of course there's a decision to be made as to whether it opens that way, oops, or that way. I'm going to do it this way. So I want to line it up. That to be easier to do it this way. I'm going to line this up roughly halfway. Looks about bright. And that would sit in like so.
can't remember which is front, which is back, but in all honesty, it doesn't really matter. So, there we have our very basic envelope journal. And I'm just going to keep pressing these down just to flatten them out a bit. But here's our other one here. I did end up putting that on the wrong one. I meant to put it on that one, but, you know, it doesn't matter. So you could at this stage put it under something heavy, which would help just flatten it down, get that in place. Or you can just do as I'm going to do, which is to go on and start decorating. So for decorating, you could use anything you want. Paints. Uh, collage material, pens, pencils, whatever. I'm just going to get out a few things and take it from there. Okay, so I've just grabbed my small jelly plate, which is three inches by five inches. I should tell you the size of this, shouldn't I? Uh, this particular journal is about four and a half inches by just short of six and a half inches, which is 11 centimetres by 16 centimetres. So, so wait. I'm just going to use a small jelly plate. I've just grabbed a selection of colours, pretty bold, pretty wild. Not sure they'll all go together, but you know, I'm just going to put it on here and just use this as a stamp. I'm not going to put it on too thick because I may need to do a number of different layers. I don't want to do a layer, have to let it dry, then go on. So I'm just going to see if I can quickly work my way through the journal. So I'll do that, probably put the next bit on at speed and see you on the other side. So that's my first layer on. Now, just a couple of things to be mindful of when doing this. One is, you know, these are not high quality envelopes. It, it's thin, cheap paper. So, you know, when you're putting wet media on it, it will buckle and warp a little bit. But to me, that just all adds character to the journal. The other thing is, if like me, you are using envelopes that have come as return envelopes, the likelihood is that once activated, this gum will become sticky. So, word of warning, just be careful because when you close, you might find that the two stick together. Obviously, you know, how you do that is entirely up to you. You could leave that down, then open it and decorate that another time. I'm just trying to get it all done. I kind of first pass over it in, in one go. I've paid little or no attention to the colours I was using. I just grabbed a few out. You know, my intention would be that 
probably more colours will go on top of these in time. I just wanted to get a first basic coat down so that when I sit down to use this journal, and I think I will use this journal, but when I sit down to use it, what I'm not faced with is possibly something worse than the blank page and that is a page that has kind of writing on it and although I've not obliterated it all I've taken out enough that I could actually work on top of this so I'm feeling just now like I think I actually want to decorate the cover so if you stick with me you'll see what I do there. I'm going to do some more layers of paint because I don't want that showing through in there, not that it would matter. Might do a bit of collage, might do a bit of stamping, might even go through the book and do a bit more stamping. I'll see. So yeah, see what I can do in maybe the next 20 minutes or so. It won't be that for you because I'll put it on fast forward, but see what I'm doing that time and where I can get to. Right. I am loving this little journal already. I could go on playing with this for hours, but that's basically my cover done. Uh, I might need to let it dry just a little bit. But there you have a very simple envelope journal. No sewing, just sticking down with tape. And yeah, very straightforward to make. So let's just do a very quick flip through at this stage, knowing that, you know, this is not a complete journal. But done the cover, quite happy with the way that's turned out. It needs a bit more playing with, but that's okay. So open it, I was just using any other paint that I had left just to stamp on. That just gives a good base for whatever I'm going to do on top. And obviously in terms of these pockets, I could put other little journals in there, I could put journaling cards in, whatever I want, and there's plenty of them. Come to here, I've almost got a double page spread that again, I can do anything on and you'll see that the masking tape is actually taking the colour on pretty well so no problem there. Then we've got the little tipped in envelope this is the one that's giving me a little bit of trouble because it's kind of squint in there but it doesn't matter and again the other tipped in envelope what's quite nice about that one 
is that uh, it's quite difficult to see. It's almost like a little secret envelope. So, there we have it. And the back page. So I hope you've enjoyed this little junk use it or lose it project making an envelope journal. I would call this an eco journal because all of this is using material you know other than the paints and that, the, the, the basic envelopes would have gone into the, the recycling. They were junk so I would I would call this an eco envelope, uh, eco journal but you know no matter what you call it junk journal, trashy junk journal, whatever. It's a nice little journal that I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing with. So, hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.